Mr. Legaspi. Yes. Do, do you know how to uh, speak formally? Uh, sometimes. It depends. Depends on the situation. Yes, yes. How they always say congratulations. <laughs> Have you ever dated somebody? Yes. Yes. How did it go? Not well. Why? Because um, uh, I choked. You choked? Yes. On a chicken bone. Not to call our next speaker about dating debaters. Maybe call <laughs> Mr. Mendoza. Woo! Make some noise! Oh. Oh. So, 
tayo dun sa more wholesome, dun sa long-term relationship, dun sa pangmatagalan. So, yun. So, even at the right time, each of us is going to face these kinds of problems. These so-called struggles in life. So, the common notion of a debater. So, contrary to the common notion of a debater is that nowadays there seems to be a stigma that debaters are very intimidating people. Some tend to believe that debaters always tend to look for loopholes and take sides. It seems as if debaters are beginning to be stereotyped as arrogant people due to them knowing a lot of things and actually strongly expressing to what they believe. So, perks of dating a debater. So, contrary to, contrary to what a lot of people do, skilled debaters are really open-minded people. Being a full-fledged debater doesn't really mean that you're a troublemaker and that you like to find things to argue about. Skilled debaters are patient. During a formal debate, you have to be patient and you're not allowed to curse your opponent or say something below the belt that is not related to the motion or topic. You also have to consider the possibility of winning as well as the possibility of losing and be able to accept be able to accept the given outcome. Same goes when you love someone and you want to win that person's heart. First thing you have to do is to be patient. Why? Because not all the time things would go your way. Not all the time things would go your way. Same goes with the person you like. You have to be able to accept the fact that you don't always you don't always have to get the things that you want in life. Given that things, given the fact that we don't always get to have the things that we want, still giving up is not an option. Yes, it may sound cliche, but good debaters and daters don't quit that is easily. If you want something, you want you have to work hard for it. You have to give it your best and love the process, but despite the given outcome, whether the outcome would be to win or to lose, you have to learn to accept these things and use it as a viewer to be driven, to be driven and motivated as a person. Another thing is the readers know how to listen and understand. So, some example dito, ayun nga, si John and Ann Vitor. Sila yung longest married couple. They've been happily married for 83, 84 years. So, sabi nga nila, di ba? A key to every successful relationship is the ability to understand. And most of us, during an argument, would rather listen to reply in your body, rather than understand what other person is saying. So sila, tumata mo sila, kumiti sila, para silang magkakasalan, di ba? Sabi nila parang, for the first meeting, diba? Diba? For 84 years, hindi ko magsasawa sa mga ng taong minamahal mo. So yun, they say that love is a lifelong thing. And that love is defined through actions and understanding. This is the reason why they lasted this long. And the reason why they lasted this long is because of good community. Before we end, do you guys agree with everything that I've said since oh, the beginning? Yeah, yeah. Can you please raise your hand for those who agree? Sige na, tasi na, agree with those who agree. na. Yeah! So, yun. So, huwag yung bababa mo. So, the thing is, debaters are good communicators, good listeners, fast learners, idealistic, open-minded, patient and understanding. And with, this, and with this, they can also be good partners in life. So now, I'm no full-fledged debater, barely half late and under -dead. I'm not even 5% of a good dater. Since I've never dated anyone in my entire 15 years of life. Yet here you are in spirit. Okay, so, I think the lesson for all of us is that we should never judge someone with just the little details that we know about them. And just because of how society dictates or perceives that certain someone or a certain group. As debaters and activists can be somehow, somehow intimidating. But I strongly believe that 
the world really needs to get to know, to know them more. Before we end, I just want to say that never be afraid to date a debater or anyone, anyone for that matter. Because trust me when I say this, debaters are really one of a kind. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mendoza, for that uh, very interesting speech.